Hey everyone, so we're back. The dogs are taking a break. <laughs> Here's Olive. Here's Makua, taking a break over there. So, I thought I would now introduce Olive, Makua's obviously related little sister. Um, Olive is six months now. She was born in December of 2015, and she was bred in Matamoras, Ohio. And the breeders were gracious enough to uh, drive halfway. Like I said, we live in Maryland, in Columbia, Maryland, which is near Baltimore. And from where we live to where they live, it was about five hours, but they were generous enough to offer to drive halfway to meet me. Uh, when we purchased Olive. So we met on the western, in the western tail of Maryland. Uh, we met at a cafe. They had, uh, you know, the husband had Olive wrapped up in his jacket because it was still winter. This was like in January, end of January, beginning of February time. And so when I got there, Olive was all cuddly and snuggly and cozy in the husband's jacket with her big head and big ears sticking out and uh, yeah this is like <laughs> this is one of her favorite like positions she just likes to splay her legs out backwards but she's funny Makua loves her they get along excellently although they are so vastly different I mean they are great together um her bulldogness, although she's so, so tiny, her bulldogness, like the aggression that she can bring out when desired, I mean, it's great with Makua. So, Makua is never too rough for her. And, I mean, of course she's never too rough for Makua, but she can take everything that Makua brings to the table when it comes to playing you know he'll grab her like he'll grab her by the leg and roll her around and she'll bite him on the neck and and start biting his heels and they're great together but this is our first time owning a Belgian Malinois and a French Bulldog although we've had Makua for almost two years now um, we've had Olive for a a little less than four months and um, they're both they're both the first of their breed that we've had in our family our previous dog was a Pomeranian named Dino and he passed away at 15 years from kidney failure uh, this was last year um, around August of 2015 so August of last year um, at that time we had Makua so Mokua did grow up with Dino, our old Pomeranian, but then many months after Dino passed away, we got Olive. And the reason we got her was because, like I said, we go to the dog park with Mokua quite often, and there are always a bunch of pit bulls, and, you know, pit bulls are so varied. So you get males, females, big, small, puppies of all ages. Sorry about the interruption. A kid just appeared from the bushes over there, so I wanted to stop recording so I could focus on the dogs because when people encounter Makua, <laughs> you know, the reactions can be crazy sometimes. So I like to be able to focus on the dogs and I'm not trying to be filming and, you know, wrangle two dogs and scared people at the same time. But, um, so like I was saying, Mak uh, Makua is our first Belgian Malamon, Olive is our first French Bulldog, and we're so glad we got them. Absolutely no regrets, despite their pros and cons. Um, since this is Olive's introduction, I will continue with her. We named her Olive because of the little, oh, where, where's she going? Olive, she has a little olive-shaped spot on the left side of her body. She has a, her markings, um, she has a sable pied. Oh, she's a pretty girl. Um, yep, sable pied. 
the pied part of her is kind of the the cow markings, I guess you could say. And the sable is the, you know, the brown with the gold highlights. So, um, and see that little dot right there? When I saw her in the photos that the breeders posted, that's her little olive dot. She was so, so tiny. She's still very small. She's, we weighed her a couple weeks ago. She's, she was 16 pounds then. Um, and although she can, you know, although she grows weight wise, she doesn't grow size wise. So she is like so tiny, but she feels, I mean, she weighs as much as an anchor to anchor a pirate ship. She is so heavy, but tiny. She's like a block, a brick of lead or something. So she gets denser, but not bigger. And if anything, she'll grow outwards a little bit as her muscles grow and she gets a little bit more muscular she'll grow outwards but not upwards but that's why we named her olive because of her 